you're watching Daytime with Kimberly and Esteban. I'm Carla Salinas, and if you're still using Q-tips to clean out your ears, you're going to want to immediately throw those away. And today, we're going to be learning all about why with Dr. Turner Wright, the sinus expert. Dr. Wright is a board-certified surgeon in head and neck surgery who tells us putting a Q-tip in your ear causes swelling in the eustachian tube, which leads to negative pressure and sometimes fluid in ears. Number one, let me tell everyone, if you don't believe me, read the box. On the box of Q-tips, it says, do not put in your ears. Dr. Wright tells us earwax is actually important as it protects your ears from debris getting into deeper parts of the ear canal. They also, they wear the skin out and you can get what someone called swimmer's ear, actually should be called Q-tip ear. Out of 100 people that have otitis externa, infection, inflammation, itching, severe pain of the ear canal, swelling of the ear canal, out of 100 people, 98 use Q-tips, one of them's a swimmer, and the other one's a liar. So if you can't use Q-tips, what is the proper way to clean your ears? Well, Dr. Wright's answer is simple. Number one, most people, 90% of people don't need to clean their ear. The skin in the ear canal secretes a, a wax, and then the skin grows from the inside out. So imagine if you had like a little thing of dirt and you put it right by your eardrum. In a month or so, that old piece of dirt will be moved by the earwax and fall out of the ear. And we've all said, oh yeah, so it's in there and a piece of wax fell out of my ear. But the worst thing you can do is push that wax back in with a Q-tip. Dr. Wright explains when you stick a Q-tip in your ear, you're actually pushing in more wax than you're even getting out. It's just like a black powder gun, you know, like in the, the uh, American Revolution, you pour the black gunpowder, you pack it with a ramrod, which I tell everybody is French for Q-tip, and when you pull that white ramrod rag out, it's black. Where's the gunpowder? It's down in the barrel. When you clean your ear and you see a little bit of ear wax, the wax is down the, down the ear canal. So one, don't clean your ears. But if you absolutely need to clean your ears, Hydrogen peroxide, you can buy from the store. When people come here, we have to disinfect their ears. Sometimes we can't get it because it's hard like a rock. I'll put them on peroxide every night for three weeks, clean them out totally. You can lay on your side, turn the TV on, get a small cap, cap full of hydrogen peroxide, slowly pour it in the ear. It feels kind of good, and then let it run back out. And if you see some brown stuff coming out, keep doing it every night until the stuff stops. Or make a routine once a month or so. But the biggest thing is opening your small in your elbow. And of course, if you do find yourself with swelling or in need of help, schedule your appointment with Dr. Wright at 956-998-6673 or visit wrightsinuschoice.com.